All right, so I was looking through the replays of the top users or the winners of the Lead Code Weekly Contest. And I think that all of these people are just cheating, honestly. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I look at one of my replays when I solve one of the questions. So you can see that like I'm typing, like I'm making progress towards the solution. And here you can see that going in there, actually writing stuff. Then like I'm submitting, submitting. Sometimes I accept it. And then you see like there's actual movement here, right? So that's my solution or the way I did it. And now let's look at some of the winners and you tell me if they're cheating or not. So I'll watch this person's code replay. Just like 15 seconds. It, they just literally copy and paste in the solution. Maybe they're using it, writing in an external editor and then copying and pasting it in. Or they're just literally chat GPTing it. And it's been hard for me to find anybody in these rankings who have like a proper code replay. Look at this. They just copy and paste the whole thing in. What is this? So let's look at this other Python person. So I don't know. I feel like why, why would it be so hard? So this person puts it in, it fails, and then they externally paste again. I don't know. I feel like it's clearly obvious these people are cheating. So yeah, let's look for someone not cheating. Let's look at like the, anyone in the top 100 actually have a proper. Okay, look, now this person's actually writing stuff. Interesting. So I guess 75 is fine. Let's look at 64. A couple of Lico Chinas. Let's see this. Okay. There are some people not cheating, but these aren't the people who won the contest. There's this. Copy and paste, copy and paste. 21 second replay. Oh, this is me. Let's go back. Let's let's just look for someone not cheating. The copy and paste. What? Why don't they just write? Maybe they're maybe they're not cheating and they're just writing it in their own editor. But I've never thought of ever doing that for a lead code question. Why wouldn't I just write it in my editor? Like for example, with Python, what's the benefit of that? So for this winner, right? Okay, this person actually wrote it up. This person seems legit. Let's look at number 11 place here. Seems like there's some legit people. That person's actually just writing it up. Yeah, maybe it's just like the top users. The people who, who won, I think just copy and paste. Like for Python, why would you just copy and paste? Just write it up in there. So yeah, this is like a common theme for a lot of weekly contests. So I think Recode really needs to just take a look at it and just figure out what's happening with all these people cheating. Let's go, let's go to some of the contests. Let's look at the, the most recent one, 181. Look at the ranking again. Let's look at this person just doing Python. Look at this. Just caught runtime. Look at look at it. They just copy and paste and code it. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think they're cheating. So 
I mean, Leco needs to fix this because otherwise the rating system is literally not going to make any sense. So yeah, cool. Just making this announcement. Please let me know if you notice the same thing. I guess there's a for a cheating feature, but I don't want to really snitch like that. Why don't Why don't they just like look at how it's happening, how people are submitting, and just do some detection that way. It seems like it's pretty obvious and someone's cheating. So yeah, cool. All right, see you in the next video.